Hey listeners, welcome back to the BTK RAS Surgery Journal Cast. I'm Kim Linden, a general surgery resident at Cooper University Hospital, and I'm going to review the Lung Cancer Study Group article from 1995 and the Annals of Thoracic Surgery, which was a crucial article in determining the surgical standards for early stage non-small cell lung cancer. So why is this article important? Lung cancer is a leading cause of cancer deaths worldwide, and complete resection leads to about a 40 to 75% five-year survival rate. Unfortunately, only about 20% of patients present with surgically curable disease. And prior to this study, lobectomy was the standard of care, but institutions were starting to explore if limited resection would provide similar outcomes and reduce the damaging effects on postoperative pulmonary functions. Before we get into the article, let's review some basic definitions within the article. So like what's the difference between a lobectomy, a segmentectomy, and a wedge resection? For this example, we'll use a patient who has a T1 tumor in the periphery of the superior segment of the right lower lobe. As a refresher, a T1 tumor is a tumor that is less than or equal to 3 centimeters in greatest dimension surrounded by lung or viscera. Lobectomy is when the entire lobe of the lung is removed. In our patient, it would be the right lower lobe. Segmentectomy is when you remove anatomic segment of the lobe of the lung. For our patient, we would perform a superior segmentectomy of the right lower lobe. And a wedge resection is when you remove the non-anatomic portion of the lung. In our patient, it would be a removal of the portion of the lung with the tumor in it with a rim of normal t- lung tissue. Now let's get into the article. The study was a prospective controlled trial to determine the differences in perioperative mortality between the lobectomy and limited resection in patients with T1 and 0 disease. Secondarily, they looked at local regional recurrence rates and cure rates, as well as postoperative pulmonary functions. They found no statistically significant difference in mortality when comparing all causes of death or death with cancer for either group. Although not statistically significant, there was a trend to a higher death rate in the limited resection group with a 50% increase in death with cancer and 30% increase in overall death. Multivariate analysis showed age older than 60 and Karnikovsky performance status less than 10 were the only two significantly associated with increased mortality. There was a 75% increase in recurrence rate associated with a limited resection, and this held true regardless of histologic type, squamous cell or non-squamous cell, or whether it was a wedge resection or segmentectomy. On sun group analysis, wedge resection had the highest recurrence rate, and the authors also looked at postoperative pulmonary function. Unfortunately, data was only available for about 60% of the patients, And of those patients with pulmonary function data available, the limited resection group had a better FEV1, FVC, and maximum voluntary ventilation at six months. However, most of the differences were no longer present by 12 and 18 months, except for the FEV1, which remained improved in the limited resection group. So what did they conclude? The studies show limited resection carries a significant increase in local regional recurrence, as well as disease-free survival. And since they concluded these two things, they said that even patients with T1N0 disease should receive a lobectomy if they can tolerate the resection. Now, one thing I would say is a limitation on the article is the conclusion about survival. In their conclusions, they state that if they change the significant level to 0.1, Instead of 0.05, like in some equivalency trials, aka the p-value would be, um, to make it statistically significant, would be 0.1 instead of less than 0.05. The survival data would be significant, but they also say that if they compared it to the bigger group, that the data actually becomes less significant. So then the question becomes, does having local regional recurrence affect the overall survival? And there are some recent studies, particularly one from about 2015 in the European Journal of Cardiothoracic Surgery, as well as some others, that look at postoperative oligo recurrence and polyrecurrence and show that the survival rate is decreased for patients with recurrence and that With definitive local treatment of the recurrence, it does improve. So 
One can maybe assume that having local regional recurrence is associated with decreased overall survival. Therefore, I do think lobectomy, uh, based off of the study, lobectomy is the surgical resection for patients with even T1N0 lung cancer to provide the best long-term survival. Thanks for listening. I'm Kim Linden, a general surgery resident at Cooper University Hospital. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach me at K-I-M-M-L-I-N-D-E-N at gmail.com or by Twitter at K underscore Linden underscore MD. Thanks again.